Suppose a bond with a 10% coupon rate and semi-annual coupons has a face value of $1,000, 20 years to maturity, and is selling for $1,197.93. Is the yield to maturity more or less than 10%? And we're also going to try to determine the yield to maturity. So here let's, ask the, uh, let's answer this question. Is the yield to maturity more or less than 10%? We always uh, answer this question by looking at the price of the bond. The price uh, of this bond is currently 1,197.93. This is higher than the uh, face value of 1,000, which means that the bond is trading at a premium. This is a bond that is attractive in the market. And so usually bonds are trading at a premium if the coupon rate that they offer um, is higher than the yield to maturity. So uh, the yield to maturity here um, is going to be less than 10% once we calculate it. So this is a semi-annual bond. You can uh, get to this answer uh, using uh, two ways. You can either use the default settings or you can set the calculator to semi-annual. And I'm going to show you uh, here how to answer this question um, using both ways. But remember that the output that you get will be different and so you will need to uh, adjust your, um, your answer accordingly. So uh, if we use the default, so if uh, the the calculator is set to the default th then that means that uh, we use um, the period per year is uh, basically set to one so to be able to answer this question you need to make sure that uh, the periods per year so second i over y is set to one if not just do one enter down arrow okay so we check again second I over Y periods per year equals to one so this is set to the default and this is what you need to input if you were to buy this this bond, this is uh, these are the cash flows that you will uh, that you will uh, get and what you will incur. So the future value will be a cash inflow to you at the end of twenty years. So so future value is a thousand. However, to be able to get this bond, you need to pay the price, and so the price is going to be a negative number. So PV equals to negative. 1,197.93. This bond also pays coupon payments. So the coupon payments are gonna, gonna go into the PMT. Okay, and the coupon payments here um, is basically, to determine the coupon payment, um, you take the par value or the face value. So we take face value times coupon rate. And because this is a semi-annual bond, we divide by two. This gives us a payment of 1,000 times 0 0.1 divided by 2. This is 100 divided by 2 or $50. So this bond will pay $50 every six months. Um, and so the uh, coupon payment here is $50. And now uh, we need to determine uh, the N. Uh, the N is basically how often you get the $50. Um, we have 20 years to maturity. So we have 20 years to maturity. However, you're getting paid twice each year. So you take 20 and you multiply by 2, which will give you 40. Okay, And now you're ready to compute i over y. Okay, So remember, the payment was a semi-annual number, n was also a semi-annual number, so the i over y is going to be a semi-annual number. When you're asked for the yield to maturity, you are asked for a certain interest rate, and that interest rate is always always has to be quoted at an annual number. So remember that the input that you get here is going to be, uh, or the output that you're going to get here, is going to be a semi-annual number, and you need to make it into a, um, a an annual number. So um, this is what we have to input. So second FV, second CEC to clear all uh, of our time value of money calculations. 1,000 is future value. 1,197.93 negative is our present value. 50 is the coupon payment. It's a cash inflow if you were to buy this, uh, this stock uh, or this bond. So we keep it as a positive number. 40 is N, compute I over Y, and we get a I over Y of 4%. So here, this is 4%, but this is the semi-annual.
value will yield, yield to maturity. So we, what you need to do here is multiply by 2 and you will get 8%. So the yield to maturity is 8%. You can also um, set the calculator to semi-annual and if you set to semi-annual, you uh, will get an I over Y that is an annual number. Okay, so this is the difference between uh, the two methods. To be able to, uh, to set the calculator to semi-annual, what you do is uh, second I over Y, and then you input 2, and then hit enter. And this is what you would input. The future value will be 1,000. The present value will be negative 1,197.93. The coupon payment, you still get $50 every six months, so payment is 50. And then for the N, uh, you do uh, basically 20. This is the method that, um, that the, 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 the calculator requires to get to the N, so 20. And then you hit second N. The, ca the calculator is gonna double it, and then you hit N again. And then you compute the I over Y, and you should here get a uh, an annual an annual number. So let's let's do this. Uh, first thing is you set to uh, semi annual. So two. Um, the, 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 this is asking you for the periods per year. So I did second i over y. It's asking you for the periods per year. Two. Enter down arrow. Okay. Now you clear all your work. One thousand is the future value. One thousand one hundred ninety seven point. 93 negative is your present value, 50 is the payment, 20 second N, and then you hit N again, that is your N, and here you're ready to compute the I over Y, and you're going to see that it is 8%. So here the calculator gave you the, uh, the annual yield to maturity, which is the answer to this question uh, directly. So I over Y? 8%.